Hello Internet, here I am chilling out at this lovely bar and grill area that me, Miss and Harley sorted out last night. Well, I say sorted out, obviously I mean constructed with, to the finest of details to make a build worthy of such masters as ourselves. Uh, oh, and in fact Harley's snuck up on me. Um, let me just... Right, um, so this is nice, this is lovely, I like this, though I feel that this could possibly use a little bit of tweaking and we have a new um ooh, ooh, whoa. can't can't look up like that <coughs> a, a new player um the dude with tools otherwise known as colonel penguin um he's another youtuber that has decided to join up with us lot and uh sing about the glories of the server uh which you know it's always nice um so yeah we built this area in between the videos and over here i was trying to tidy up this end and tie it all up to to the um, burn lodge up there I ended up with this little bit of dead space so I <coughs> threw down some some niceness uh, and yes indeed Harley is modeling for us uh, yeah the blue room I particularly like this little detail down here because from the from the the back it looks like it's a, a dark area but it's actually just some space um, and yeah I, th I thought that was a nice little little touch I'm not sure about this I think it would have probably been better as a glowstone lamp but if I had done that I would have had to try and fit in a lever or um, something like that and it's, it's it just wasn't great I didn't have the space so I, I, I settled for a, a bit of glowstone I had to do that because obviously um, the spacing from there to in here the light levels were starting to get a bit low and I was worrying about the monsters spawning um, over there Lustria seems to be building himself a bit of a jacuzzi and we might go stick our faces in over there by the end of it uh, by the end of today's episode but first I want to talk about what I want to do today uh, today I have two two major tasks to be getting on with first up this map um, when it was just like the four of us getting going it was all right this this did fine but I don't know if you can see off over in the distance there we have uh, some some old school players actually some of the people that started playing when this server start first started not this map this server so this is back oh this was back before the release of actual Minecraft we're, we're back in the beta days um, so they're, they're starting a little village over there and then all the way over that way so far that we we can't actually see it and which leads me to wonder how i'm going to make the map but yeah all the way over there um forest is building stuff out in the desert so i'd like to put all that onto the map which means we're gonna have to stretch this out quite far um i'd like to see if it can be put on the diagonal as well because i was looking over this way i'm just going to use some admin commands quickly to, to show you what i mean and you notice how there's this dead space over here this, uh, I'm a bit distance for it this you see this dead space here I'd like to fill that up with map if at all possible all right there we go no more admin commands I promise wow you know um, and the second thing is obviously the chicken machine um, hello Jeb oh nice Jeb uh, and over here we have the chickens um, and as I said I, I'm, I'm never keen on manually dealing with chickens um, especially as they are like the only thing you can do fully automatic or at least the only animal um, so yeah I, I'm gonna make a fully automatic chicken meat feather and egg machine uh, yeah I think that'll do for this first bit uh, I'm gonna get some stuff I'm gonna space out my space out my builds um, give some thought to how I'm actually going to go about achieving the goals that I have set myself and I should hopefully be back with some thoughts oh, what's Harley doing turns out Harley was putting in a boating slash fishing dock thing which is nice I had to move her from where she was because that's where I want to put my jukebox machine um, uh, but we'll talk about that another episode right now we're dealing with the chicken machine now <coughs> um, these ones right here are the infinite chicken machine chicken lays eggs in hopper that gives a blip round and then dispenser fires uh, sorry a dropper fires up um, if this repeater was going straight into that one it would have fired on both but I've not because I want to keep a store in this one um, so yeah the main problem with those is that the chicken never dies 
Um, and that then gives you just this infinite feedback loop. You get some exponential growth on the go. And yeah, as I mentioned last time, you can kill the server quite easily that way. So what I want to do is every time this dispenser gets a full complement of eggs, I want this piston to kill all the chickens. This hopper down here to extract the meat and feathers. And then this dispenser to throw all the uh, eggs back in. <sighs> Sounds simple. Turns out it's not. Um, the first thing that I've managed to do, or you know, the thing that I really, really needed to do, was figure out how to tell the difference between a hopper being full, a hopper being empty, and using the same signal to trigger two events. So I've managed to do that, and I'll, I'll demonstrate. So um, first off, this is my my output line. This is this is the one that's going to do all the work. Everything before here is just processing what's going on inside the dispenser. Um, so yeah, um, you'll notice that you know all the way up to well up to there because it's not full. If I was put the next thing on, it would be full. Um, this is still off. Um, but now, like, put the last one in. Boom. Suddenly you've triggered this uh, RS NOR latch in the middle here. Um, and that's, well, that's going to push this, wait for a bit, fire off the hoppers and, you know, do, do things like that. The main problem I'm going to have is put, trying to fit a monostable circuit in with a long enough um, pulse on it to kill the chickens with the piston and then to retract before the dispenser starts firing, which means I need to have the same delay on that and the clock before the dispenser starts firing and this is why i've taken a bit of a break to do the video because that just made my brain go ah right so yeah so that all went around and filled up um you'll notice that if i start taking eggs out whilst it does indeed make the line go shorter the rs nor is still not being reset that's because of this torch here um it's not until in oh, not until we're down to literally a singular egg. You notice that's still off. And when the last egg gets taken away, you can see that down there. Boom. Torch turns on. RS NOR gets reset. And then this line turns off. So yeah, th this is all good. It's a bit bulky. It's very big and very, very up in the air and stuff. I think I'm probably going to try and... I don't know, take it downstairs somehow probably. I'll dig a big pit and see what I can do because I want to try and get something that looks reminiscent of a chicken run up here. But that's probably not going to happen because, I don't know, I always do so badly at the building part. But yeah, um, I'm going to smash my face against the uh, the processing of this a bit longer and I'll get back when I have an idea about how this is going to work. Including how I'm going to shorten this line down because that is very, very long. But it needs to be... Mm, yes, thoughts. Many face bashings later, uh, I've come up with this, which um, in the space of, you know, that whole like sprawling mess I had earlier, I've managed to do absolutely everything that I uh, needed to do to make everything work. Uh, and we will get on with a demonstration of it in a second after I have explained everything out. So you remember that great big long line that I had? Um, I've managed to condense that down to this blue wall here. So um, <coughs> here's the, the bit of redstone that goes, yes, I've only got a singular egg in me again. Um, and then this comparator takes away something along the lines of 14 um, things because the, the torch is at full signal and it takes away these two little bits and then that goes into the subtract mode. And then only then when the dispenser is full will this bit trigger. Which then kicks off the RS NOR latch, which is this black bit. Um, you'll notice the uh, amazing colour coding of wool, not only to help you guys, but also to help me, because ah, uh, 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 this made my brain hurt almost every step of the way. So yeah, the RS NOR latch triggers, and then two things happen at that point. The first off is this hopper timer starts. You'll notice if there's a very specific... I'm sure it's supposed to be five bits. Uh, a very specific amount of stuff in there. Um... All right, let's get down inside and I can show you how that... That's controlled by this green block here, which is powered by the top bit of the RS NOR latch. And then this one here powers this one. So that hopper allows stuff to flow and then stuff gets stuck in here, which this comparator picks up. All right, that's the first thing that happens. And the second is this hopper is allowed to flow again. So anything falling into that will get sucked out before it goes into the dispenser. Okay, right, yeah, that's, that's nice and simple. Then... 
<coughs> then the white and green line fire. Okay, so, oh, uh, sorry, three things in fact happen. This torch also gets changed, which extends the piston. You know, this torch, we'll turn that one on, we'll extend the piston, right? Okay, so we've got hopper, torch, hopper clock. Yeah, okay. <laughs> one, as the hopper's clock uh, uh, counting, it goes by extending these lines. Then two things happen simultaneously. First off, the hopper retracts, because this torch here gets turned off. Remember, this one is off from the RS NOR. At the same time, this rather bulky clock gets fired. Um, I kind of needed it to be this long because we're firing this dispenser over here. Um, so yeah, the comparator triggers from the hop hopper. Yeah. So it follows this line up and into the back of the, the comparator. Isn't that supposed to be on subtract mode? Oh, I'll leave it like this for now. Uh, the signal passes through to the um, dispenser. It also passes round to the comparator to make it clock. And that should fire all the things. So, yeah, detection of detection of of eggs. Um, uh, control RS nor latch. Timing for piston and the timing for the clock after the piston. And then this this little clock down here fires this dropper to put all the meat and stuff in there. Right. So that's the theory. If we get all these eggs out, we should be able to have a little bit of a test. Let's pop in here. We've got 14 eggs, so hopefully if these three chickens in here can just lay an egg at some point. Uh, hopefully we're not going to have to wait. Ah, oh, rain. Hopefully we're not going to have to wait all five minutes, but we'll probably have to wait a little bit. Um, maybe a jump cut? Maybe not. Depends how quick this is. Ah, lay some eggs, 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 lay some eggs. <laughs> ah. Oh, oh, it's killing, it's killing. Ah, right, well, everything got thrown out. That's a little bit annoying. And obviously the lag from this is horrendous. We got one. And the chickens are going well. So that clock needs a little bit of tweaking because, oh my god. Though so we could probably do that just with a repeater into the floor. Wow. Um, we could probably stop that and save some eggs actually, as we know it's a little bit broken. Oh, wait, no, that one. Okay, so. No, we're not. Oh, it's because of this bit, isn't it? That's, that's the one I really wanted. Okay, so, other than eating through almost all my eggs, one of them went down and a couple of bits went into my inventory, which means that we need to make the uh, timer a little bit less. Um, and I could really do with going to sleep. Um, if nothing else, just to stop the weather. But yeah, there we go, load of eggs, load of chickens. Um, everything basically worked. I'm gonna take these eggs out of here and fix the comparator and stuff and paritor and stuff and put that bit of glowstone back right put that one there and that one there right so what was the problem with that why why did that not hmm I kind of worked uh, first off let's reduce some lag by doing that um Oh, God. All right, and let's go finish up, finish some sleeping or something. This is painful lag. All right, in a bit, guys. Okay, so I'm back with a cup of tea, no rain, some building blocks, and we're going to see what we can do about fixing this. Now, the first thing I've done is I've put this into two unstackable items so that hopefully the piston goes a little bit quicker. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I was watching the uh, 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 footage back and I was noticing where things were escaping. So we're just going to kind of fill things in a little bit with these um, planks. Like this worries me, the fact that I can see there. So we'll, we'll put that up. I can't really fill this in either. So that that's kind of just going to have to stay as it is. Um, so yeah, so I've done all the, the major things I think I can do to, to fix it. Um, and in here, hopefully, we've got a whole load of eggs. 
I say hopefully, I put them there just a second ago. Um, so we access this here. I'm going to have to make some sort of easy access system that we can uh, lock up. Oh, and we're going to have to wait forever. Um, what I might do is go steal some of Lego's eggs. So whilst we're running over here, we can talk about what's going to happen with this map. Now, I really like the the way I've surrounded it and stuff, but if I start putting great big long lines of leaves in, I think we're going to run into a bit of an issue there. So um, perhaps take these out, leave that there, and, and go uh, basically mirror this out. Take these leaves out. And that will take us out to about this far. That would be quite a quite a thing. But then, once again, it's, it's the path. The path will go in a strange place. Ooh, ooh, it, it, terrible things that you have to think about. Like, when, especially once you've started building somewhere. Because, like, once you've put paths down, you have to think about, you know, how the paths fit with the builds that you're about to make. It's like the, 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 the chicken machine I've just made. Uh, thank you very much, Lego. We're going to take a few of those it's like the chicken machine i've just made um it, it, it's not at all where i would put it now that i've seen how big it is uh like when i was thinking about it in the first place i was just like yeah yeah we'll, we'll just squeeze it in it's just pushing a piston and and, and you know counting to five um well you know that, that was roughly my thought process and yeah and, and now i'm i'm smushed up right up against here uh I, i've got this here um i've no idea how i'm going to encase all this uh i was thinking possibly a giant egg with a chicken but even that looks I, I, yeah i don't know how i'd go about doing that right so let's take these five out and go not enough Stop. Right, so obviously we need items in there. Um, did I take the eggs out? I didn't take the eggs out. Right, this is the worst bit of recording and trying to work out stuff. It is having to talk and think at the same time. I, I, I'm, I'm just a lowly man. I, I can't do such things as, as like talk and think. Ooh, um, five of them. That's the, the minimum needed to just complete this circuit. So we'll take that back out. We'll pop that back in. Right. Our plan now is to hopefully... <laughs> look, they're all squashed in. Hopefully, um, the, uh, 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 the filling, the blocks, will be enough to uh, stop everything flying out. Um, and we're probably going to have to wait again, aren't we? Let's see what we got. No, that was definitely going everywhere. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, mm. Who knows? Okay. Okay. Let's take that half slab out on top. Or do we just add another? There we go. That makes it a bit more solid. Right test number whatever this is <laughs> let's let's try it again put the comparator back uh there's nothing a lot there's nothing big in there to to grow is there all right we're gonna have to do another little jump cut till this thing's big all right so i got a little bit fed up of um bashing my face against a survival version of this and i went into uh creative and i did a lot of lot of testing and after random placements, I've, decided, uh, I've concluded that glass on top is the way to do it. Now, I know this sounds strange. It sounds strange to me. But all that I can assume is that when the oak block gets pushed in and the item gets pushed out of like being suffocated, if you will, it looks everywhere around it and sees nothing but the same, so throws it di distance. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we, we're going to try this. I have Miss back there. Wave, wave, Miss. Hello. Oh, <laughs> uh, she's going to pop the eggs in for me. Um, and I've disabled the dispenser timer, so this, sh uh, yeah, this should work fine. Where did the item go? Mm. Right, so let's uh, first turn this off. Unfortunately, it's not a case of just taking the eggs out. You've got to t break that, then take the eggs out. Okay, D did did it work? 
We got two two things. There's no no chicken around on the floor anywhere, is there? Uh, no. Have you seen over, any over this way? No. You've not got any chicken in your in your inventory. I've got the four bits I already had. I think. I think I may have actually done it. Oh. Oh, it's so good. I was. I was so annoyed at the chickens, like, the pistons and chickens could leave my life as far as I was concerned. But, yeah, done. Also, look at this. Beds. Can't walk up them. Oh, strange. Put a half slab next to them, you're fine though. Right, well I had fully intended at this point to get on with some building and make this uh, sort of a pretty thing. But as it happens, I've made an entire episode already. So uh, thank you very much for joining me with this complicated building of adventure thingies. And I will see you next time when we're going to make something cool to go around it. I, re I really don't know what. I'll come up with something awesome between now and then. Bye bye.